Yo, what's cracking YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Pegasi Tesseract, which was just released part of the SA Supersport DLC in GTA Online. Now, this is where I give my slow patronizing <laughs> applause to Rockstar for releasing the most expensive vehicle, which is unarmored, into GTA for $2.8 million dollars and it's electric and it's not very good around a track and it's not even very good in a straight line so um what are you paying for i don't know about the customization because i haven't been there yet um i'm assuming there's not going to be a ton of customization for it, just guessing and according to bruffy top speed of this vehicle is 125.5 miles per hour and around the track comes 17th with a time of one minute one second okay a little bit further ahead in second place we have the Wagner with 59 seconds I know it's only two seconds but in a race two seconds is a fucking long time if you're wondering why the Wagner's only second because Bruffy does it with the in first place that is the Vigilante uh, but that, in my opinion it doesn't really count so the Wagner is number one in the, in the supercar class uh, in, in in my opinion because of that aspect you can't really class um, the Vigilante as a race vehicle because it's got a fucking rocket attached to the back of it but nevertheless the Wagner is there Wagner is top dog um, the Tesseract is 17th two seconds slower than the Wagner so like I said two seconds is a long time in a race and um, second in top speed is the 811 with uh, 132.5 miles per hour again it only comes second because Bruffy has included the Vigilante in that testing uh, again I wouldn't have included the, the Vigilante but it's not my video <laughs> so um, yeah and the test back they only got 125.5 miles per hour and in my opinion it doesn't really even really look that great it looks unique it looks different I'll give them that it does look pretty cool but it's nothing that great where I think man I'm gonna buy this you know the only reason I'm buying this is because I'm doing a video on it there's no way on God's green earth I'd be buying a shark card for this fucking car no way and it just goes back to everything that I've said in previous videos about Rockstar just doing a money grab trying to line their pockets with fucking shit like this you gotta make it quick you gotta make it the fastest car in the game you can't make it 17th around a track that is bullshit that is some bullshit from Rockstar if you're gonna bring in a brand new supercar for 2.825 million dollars it needs to be the fastest fucking car on the game hands down and he's this car needs to be beating the vigilante it is ridiculous I can't believe Rockstar even have the fucking full front to even try this shit and if anybody's purchasing this vehicle you need your head testing if you're buying a fucking shark car to purchase this Pegasi Tesseract that there's something wrong with you because only a fucking fool would buy a shark card with real money to purchase this Pegasi Tesseract. It shouldn't be happening. The only reason I'm fucking buying it is because I've got a shit ton of money on this account and I don't fucking need to buy a shark card for it. But anyway, guys, I'm going to try and give it the best review that I can. That's my first initial thoughts on it um, in regards to its performance and the way Rockstar are just chucking these fucking pointless supercars into the game. Really pisses me off. But um, we're going to get on with the video. I'm going to take it into LS Customs as normal. We're going to see what sort of customizations we can do. And then we're going to take it out onto the streets and have a little drive about. So you go, my bros. As you pull into LS Customs, you'll see the Bugatti Tesseract is obviously in the supercar category. Now as always guys, I'm going to start my build with 100% body armor, then we're going to go through the brakes, we're going to get the race brakes for the bumper, front bumper, so we do get a good amount of options, as I didn't think we was going to, to be honest, but how much is it actually going to change the look of the vehicle? So we've got a primary extension, then we've got exactly the same fucking thing, but with the secondary colour, and oh whoop de doo what a change that is, oh my god, look, look at the prices of these bumpers as well, we're, we're in like 15 grand territory now, for what? A tiny little splitter that fucking sticks out underneath the existing bumper. That is disgusting. Look at it. It really is not much different to the stock front bumper. It's just a little splitter that pops out from underneath. And it doesn't, in my opinion, it doesn't even fucking add anything to the car. It doesn't make it look extremely nice in any sort of way. It just looks the same. Man, oh man. This is just... It's just disgusting that Rockstar are bringing shit like this into the game and charging so much motherfucking money 
Man, we ain't purchasing that, none of that. We're going to go to the rear bumper, and it's not even a bumper, it is a diffuser. And wow, you see that? See the change there, guys? You see what you're paying four and a half grand for? That tiny little fucking thing that goes in the middle there. See it? That's it. That's what you're paying four and a half grand for. What are you paying? Oh, so you get a little bit of uh, a visual change with the seven and a half grand one, which is a welcome sight. And but that's no different for an extra what four grand you're getting white lines on it. Oh, and uh, yeah, and then you got the primary and then the secondary, so they're exactly the same. Ah, oh, dearie me, dearie dearie me. And again, I don't even think they look that nice. Uh, well, they don't look nice enough for me to warrant spending seven and a half grand on them. So I'm going to say stock for the rear bumper slash diffuser. Next, we've got the chassis option. Uh, so as you can see, stock chassis and the secondary shocks. Oh, okay. So it is. It's ch <laughs> it's changing the shock absorbers at the front. That's what that's what it's doing. And we can cover them. Sweet. Okay. Um, me personally, I think. They look quite cool, exposed because it adds something unique to the vehicle. When you cover it up, it just then it starts to look like every other car that we've got in the fucking game. Um, I think the chrome ones are probably the best in my opinion. So yeah, I'm gonna go with the chrome shocks. Then we're gonna go to the engine. I'm gonna get the level four engine upgrade. Next, we've got the lights. I'm gonna go headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. So next, we do get a livery option for this car, which I am quite surprised about. It wasn't really expecting to get a livery with this type of vehicle but we do we get the uh, the checkered flag on the roof which actually looks quite cool um not not a fan of them that looks crazy not really sure what to make of that that's not too bad i suppose but it's nothing fucking spectacularly nice either um that looks a little bit better actually i don't mind the pink on that it looks quite cool that looks quite nice too. So the liveries are pretty cool on this, man. I'm, I'm digging some of the liveries. I'll probably go with one of the liveries, actually, um, for this vehicle, just to make it look a little bit different. Might even make it look a little bit better. That Globe Oil one is actually really cool. I'm, I'm actually really liking that. That one is smart. The Fuku? Fuku? Is that how you'd say it? Not really sure how you'd say it, but it looks awesome, man. I'm actually really liking that, so I'm going to go with that. And then we're going to go to the respray. I'm going to go primary colour to start and then classic because I do have a livery applied. And I don't want a weird shine, like a metallic shine on the livery, so I'm going to stay classic. And I'm not really sure what colour I want to go for on this. It's got like... It looks quite good purple. It looks really nice purple. I was going to, I was about to say that it's got white writing, so I can't really stay white because it... sort of, You can't see it that very well. Um, but when I went purple, that actually looks really cool, man. Really digging that purple. Uh, we've got the shaft of purple, which also looks good, but it's a little bit lighter. Uh, I think the shaft of purple or the bright purple will probably be the best two options. Um, fuck it. I'm going to go with the shaft of purple. Then we're going to go to the secondary colour, also into classic. We've got ice white at the minute. Not sure what it's going to change. So keep your eyes open. What is going to change? Oh. The fucking lights in the wheel. Are they? Oh, yeah. They are lights in the wheels, by the way. Um, should we go bright purple with that? Yeah, man. That looks all right. We'll go with a bright purple for the secondary colour. Next, we've got a spoiler option. Um, I little thing it looks pretty good without a spoiler. I don't think we really need one. But then, we get this option, the hood lip spoiler. Puts a little bit of an extension on the existing uh, lip spoiler that's already there. And I think it actually looks really good. That one is taken a little bit too far, in my opinion. Um, that is, is... Is that even a spoiler? What the fuck are they? they, they that's weird, man. <laughs> Not sure about that. That one's pretty cool. The Aggressor, that looks quite nice. Uh, again, I think that then takes it a little bit too far. It starts with a nice spoiler. Then you add a fin through the middle of it, and I think it spoils it a little bit. And the GT spoiler is just ridiculous. Uh, it doesn't even look good. Um, so, yeah, I think the Aggressor looks quite nice, but then also this... Hood lip spoiler looks pretty cool, but um, my th my favourite was the hood lip, so I'm going to go with that. Next, we've got the option for the wheels. Really, really hate these wheels. They're fucking stupid. When I was driving down here, it was a little bit dark, and you could see that they were lighting up, so it might be someone's taste. You know, they might enjoy the fact that their wheels light up, but for me, not a fan. So I'm going to go high-end. I'm, I'm feeling some carbon wheels for this, so I'm probably going to go with something like, I don't know, the Cheetah Carbon R. They look quite good. I th yeah, I think the Cheetah Carbonara are the ones I'm going to go with. So yeah, I'm going to grab them. 
I'm also going to go into the wheel colour and change it to purple. Whilst we're here guys, we're going to go into the tyres and purchase the bulletproof tyres. And to finish off the build as always, we're going to the windows and purchase the light smoke window tin. So you go my bros, there is my build on the brand new Tesseract which was just released in the GTA, part of the SA Supersport series DLC. And uh, I think now I've customised it, I actually like it a lot better than I did when I first bought it. It definitely looks a lot nicer. That livery is fucking spot on, man, that is awesome. Not sure if it's worth the 2.8 million though. Um, because that is very, very expensive. And like I said, the performance just isn't there. It's 17th around a track and 13th in a straight line. So if you want it for racing, don't buy it, you know, because it's not going to be good enough. And the fact that it's electric, that's another fucking con in my opinion. I fucking hate electric cars. When you drive a car in GTA, you want to hear it roar. You want to hear the anger and the aggression in that engine. And when you're driving the Tesseract, you're not going to get that because it hums, because it's electric which is a, a massive shame. Right, so we're going to take it for a little drive, and as you can see, the acceleration on it is rapid. And I think that's the where it gets the majority of its speed from, is the acceleration. As you can see, it picks up really, really quick. But I think it's just everything else coupled together. It's like, top speed isn't great, so that's not going to help it around the track. The braking doesn't seem all that. So I think the only thing it's got going for it is the acceleration aspect of it because it is an electric car and electric cars are generally really quick off the line. And um, to be honest, since I've customised it, I am going to be honest here, I actually really, really like the look of it. You know, I was clipping through the fucking curb there. Let's go on the road. Yeah, I'm actually really, really liking the look of it. Um, it's just a shame that one, it's electric, two, it's $2.8 million, and three, it's slow. So them three things is um, it makes me feel like this is a rip off. You know, it's just a money grab. Like I said at the beginning, I'm not gonna go through it again because it just pisses me off. Um, so overall, guys, I don't think anybody should purchase this vehicle, even though it is very nice looking after customization. Um, but yeah, stay away from it. Don't buy it. Um, save your money for something else, or you know, just buy a supercar which isn't absolute dog shit. Because the whole point of buying a supercar is for it to be fast and for it to be good around the track, surely. But anyway, guys, that's enough for me. Uh, that's enough from the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash a like. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.